It's $50 Workshop Friday, and we are having fun today. Today we're going to work on the table saw, get a few things made we need for that, beef it up a little bit, and then next week we're going to build our very first piece of furniture and hopefully sell it so we can uh, make a little money and add some, uh, add some stuff to the shop. But I went out while you guys were, you know, hanging out this week waiting for the show. I went out and scavenged up a bunch of stuff. I got pallet wood behind me, some uh, OSB from a bunch of pallets, some, some other wood from a bunch of pallets some furniture. I stopped and talked to a contractor about getting some wood, um, scrap wood that they're throwing away, and he said yes to come back, and I got to go back this week and pick that up. And then he was cleaning out the back of his truck when I stopped, and he gave me a can full of uh, wood screws and just all kinds of ins and outs that he had just laying there loose. I found a glue gun at a, at a um, yard sale, 50 cents. I stopped and got some glues and some screws, and I'll show you. And then uh, so we can keep a tally on what we're spending and what's coming in and going out. And just a bunch of other stuff. I got this down here, bearings. It's got, you know, the, the sweet eater. It's got bearings in it. It's got switches in it. It's got all kinds of hardware we can use for jigs and whatnot. So I found an oak thing. Lots and lots of stuff. Um, so I'm going to tear this down, and then we're going to work on the table saw. And then next week, it's going to be cool. We are getting into the furniture, man. We're going to do some fun stuff. And uh, we'll, next week, we'll talk about stuff that sells, how to sell it, and then uh, we'll build a piece. Anyway, thanks for watching. see all the scrap wood and with that I'm going to use I'm going to use that to build some of the things I need first of all if I need a sled I need a money sled I need a fence and a couple of other little jigs but let's start with the basic three so to get started I went down to the hardware store I got um, inch and a quarter drywall screws inch and a quarter finish nails and a thing of glue and that was almost $15 for just that I've also got the fasteners that the uh, contractor was cleaning out of the back of his truck and I've got some uh, nuts and bolts that I've taken out of furniture and stuff. So this is what I've got to get started with with scrap woods behind me. I can also go out in the woods and get um, you know twigs and branches and whatever else I can use that because it's free and anything else I find during the week that is free I'm going to grab that as well. So next week we're going to do a furniture build but today let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I just took a piece of scrap wood and I um, drilled a couple pilot holes in it and I used that for a temporary fence to rip some runners down that will run in the track. And I'm not going to go into great detail about the uh, building the uh, crosscut sled and the miter sled. I just did a video on that like a week ago. If you guys want to see it, I'll put a link in the description below about how you can see um, how I build the miter sled and crosscut sled, real, real simple ones. And that's all I'm doing here. I'm just doing the same thing. Except for this time, I've only got one track to run down instead of two. Um, here you see I'm gluing the uh, fence on the back of the crosscut sled. And I made that first because I, I can use the crosscut sled to help make the miter sled. I can also use it to help make the fence for this table saw. So after marking everything out, I turned it over and ran some screws in it. And here I'm doing the same thing. I just uh, put it a runner in the track and I'm kind of squaring up the sled with the table saw a little bit and then running some screws in it and I've already installed the 45 piece on there and I'm just uh, testing it now and it worked out well so I started working on the slut on the uh, fence but my camera died Okay, so my camera battery died, and I couldn't stop because I'm running out of daylight, and I'm getting, I'm getting called from the house. So, anyway, um, installed this little L bracket here on the fence, and I left it three quarter of an inch below the tabletop, and then I made this sled, basically, that has a track that rides right here in this groove, and this is the top, rides right there, and then I installed this T nut and bolt in here, so. When I put that on there and tighten that, down, tighten that down, that's that holds that in place very, very well. So I'm going to have to do a couple of micro videos this week. I think well, I'll just do short videos where I finish the fence for this jig or for this table saw, and then I 
got a couple other things. I want to sturdy this up. I'm going to use some of my scrap wood to make the table saw a bit more sturdy and lift it up a little bit and uh, build a couple more small jigs that we're going to need for our build next Friday. So next Friday we're going to build a pretty awesome piece of furniture with real simple tools. Lots of cars today. Um, I, I'm sorry we couldn't get that done today, but we'll finish it up. I'm going to do two or three little short three minute videos throughout the week, finishing the table saw rip fence, building a couple other jigs we're going to need for next Friday's build. And next Friday we're going to build our first piece of furniture. We'll talk about ways, what, what's a good thing to build to start with, how we can sell some furniture, how we can make some money at this to help support our woodworking habit. And I want to take a quick second and I'll make it fast, but I, had a, I was talking to this concept with a friend of mine and he, his first question was why? <laughs> why would you do that? You know, I don't have a lot of fancy equipment, but I do have what I need. And he says, why would you sub submit to or subject yourself to that? And the reason is simple. I love woodworking. It is the most driving passion in my life. I, I, I can't, th I dream about it. I think about it all the time and I love it. And I want to share this experience with other people. And a lot of people can't afford to get into it. You can't go, you know, can't go out and buy a bunch of tools. This is an easy way where people can get into woodworking, start making a little money at it to help support the habit. And I know with all the experience and um, years of ideas and concepts, I really want to share those with everybody. And, um, you know, so people ask me why I love woodworking so much, and I always show them this lamp. This is not a fancy lamp. This is a very simple lamp. It's a really cool looking piece of uh, juniper and a cherry base. And the guts from this are out of a, my, my son and I found the guts, the, all the parts for this at a, a auction, um, an auction house. We bought the whole lamp for a dollar. So all the guts came out of that lamp. Um, I have no money into this with the exception of a few bucks. But my son and I built this together and it is a beautiful piece. It's a simple, elegant, it's rustic, it, it has that natural flair that I'm really fond of. And um, I'll never sell this. But this is why I love it. My son and I made this. And for now, until I die, I get to hold this in my hands. I can put it in my house and use it. I will always be able to look at this. I will always have that memory of building it, of sharing that time with my, ch with my child. And that's what woodworking is to me. It's about sharing an experience with other people. And it always has been. I've taught a lot of people throughout the years, and I've really enjoyed the company of some pretty amazing men and, uh, and women in the woodworking industry. And I really want to kind of reach out there and share that experience with everybody. And, you know, people who are interested in this, I cannot stress you, I stress to you enough. Don't wait. If all you have is a sharp screwdriver and a hammer, figure out how to do something and start. Because when it's done, you have something that you can hold in your hand. It's tangible. It's evidence of your effort. It is one of the most remarkable things, you know, that a person can do is to build something that is useful, it's valuable, and it's tangible. So I, I, that's why I'm doing this. I want to share this experience with as many people as I can. I would invite you to share these videos with other people who are interested in woodworking or maybe just getting started in woodworking. You know, there are so much, there are so many things that you can do with so little. You don't have to have huge shops and big fancy equipment to create some very unique things. And I'm going to teach you those things. I'm going to show you things over the next, you know, however long it takes that you will be able to do that will literally stun some people. When you see somebody come in and look at a piece of furniture that you built and they don't say anything, they just walk in the room and they go, <gasps> that's when you know you did something cool. And you stick with me, I'll show you how to do it. You guys have a great night.